with six, the man now charged with two rapes that went unsol uh, unsolved for more than two decades appeared in court today. Prosecutors say he's also suspected in more unsolved sex crimes in southeastern Massachusetts. Iowa DeSouza reporter Anita Buffoni joins us now live in studio with what happened at his arraignment. Anita? Shannon and Mike, prosecutors say new technology was used to test DNA from alleged rapes that were later traced to a family member of Ivan Keith. It led police to a cabin deep in the woods in Maine where Keith was living under another name. It's there that a vape pen was found on Keith that linked him to four unsolved rape cases that happened in the 1990s. Prosecutors are charging Ivan Keith for two brutal rapes that took place in the late 1990s outside the Bristol Plymouth Regional High School in Taunton and another in an office building in Easton. He's also linked to two other rapes in Massachusetts around the same time period. The results of that testing indicated that the probability that somebody other than this defendant raping those four women was one in 3.289 quintillion, which means 18 zeros after the three. After years in hiding, Keith finally faced a judge Wednesday on charges including rape, assault, and kidnapping. Police were reinvestigating the cases when they found a lead through DNA samples. In 2003, Keith was supposed to appear for a trial on an open lewdness charge. He did not show up for that trial and was never seen since until earlier this month when they tracked him down. When it came time to provide DNA samples, uh, he uh, flew the coop, as they say. Upon his arrest, prosecutors say Keith said, my time is up. He later would indicate he considered running out the back and made some joke about he thought he had been on the run uh, or been able to evade the police longer than Whitey Bulger. Now, Keith's attorney says his client denies the charges but would not comment further. Prosecutors say Keith was supposed to give a DNA sample prior to the trial he never showed up for. Had he done that, prosecutors say justice for victims would have come sooner. Keith was held without bail. I'm Anita Buffoni, Eyewitness News.